Well, new this morning, there is an alarming trend. Break-ins at marijuana dispensaries, not only across America, but here in Metro Detroit, too. Now, in the last two weeks alone, thieves targeted two marijuana dispensaries on Detroit's east side in the middle of the night. 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell spoke with a local marijuana dispensary employee who says more needs to be done to protect employees, customers, and the cash. I'm at Live Cannabis right off of Jefferson and Navajo, and right here on the ground is shattered glass. And it just shows the latest breaking attempt by an organized crime ring here in Metro Detroit targeting dispensaries like this one, all for cash and weed. I don't know if there's going to be a way to stop this, uh, and I don't know where it does stop. It's a concern echoed by many workers in Michigan's marijuana industry. This one didn't want to be identified, but does want change to protect these businesses. They're being watched. They're being, it, it's an organized group that is testing them. You know, they're uh, doing several things to kind of see what response. Detroit police tell me since January, there have been a total of 20 incidents involving marijuana dispensaries, 16 burglaries and four larcenies. Live Cannabis on Jefferson has been hit twice in two weeks. I obtained surveillance video showing armed suspects casing the building and even trying to break into the back door. Then on Wednesday morning at 5.30, thieves ripped the door off the hinges and tried going through the drywall to gain access. We spoke to the building's owner who wished to remain anonymous. They break into the door and they pull up the scissor left door, two of them. They try to get in into the dispensary from that vacant unit. Cannabis Regulatory Agency Director Brian Hanna says without access to traditional banking and regular credit cards, dispensaries are a prime target for thieves. We've seen it time and time again in this state, but it's a national issue. Uh, anywhere you have regulated cannabis. The dispensaries have to rely on local banks, credit unions, and unmarked armored trucks to transport their cash. HANA and industry professionals are urging the federal government to pass the Safe Banking Act, which would allow marijuana retailers access to federal banking institutions. Workers agree. There has to be an escalation of uh, a force, uh, in, in a sense of there needs to be more or less a show of force in that we can guard our place. In Detroit, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News.